The Mayan calendar began in the year 3114 BC. Unlike our calendar, it abruptly ends on the winter solstice, December 21, 2012, causing many to believe the world will end on that day. Question. What are Christians to believe? Did God give the Mayans a glimpse of the coming apocalypse? Or should we simply treat the winding down of the Mayan calendar as just another end of the world scare? The truth is, no one can know the exact day of the world's demise. The Apostle Peter wrote, The day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a roar, and the heavenly bodies will be burned up and dissolved. Jesus likewise said, Concerning that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father only. So, will the world end on December 21st, 2012? We say, maybe, maybe not. We simply can't know. The better question is, is there any reason to believe that the world could end in the year 2012? NASA astronomers say absolutely not. Nothing bad will happen to the Earth in 2012, states a NASA website article. It continues, Our planet has been getting along just fine for more than 4 billion years, and credible scientists worldwide know of no threat associated with 2012. Some scientists allege that not even the Mayans believed that the end of their calendar marked the end of the world. They would be wrong, says archaeologist and anthropologist Dr. Michael Coe, the leading expert in Mayan culture and history. He stated that the Mayans would have seen the final day of their calendar as an Armageddon when our present universe would be annihilated. A 1960s discovery of an ancient stone seems to confirm Dr. Coe's assertion. According to its inscription, at the end of the Mayan calendar, a fearsome Mayan god of war and creation may descend from the sky. For the biblical Christian, that sounds quite similar to the prophesied coming of the conquering Christ. God in the flesh and co-creator of the universe, descending from heaven to strike the nations, putting an end to the Armageddon and the world as we know it. As for most secular scientists who dismiss the possibility of the world ending in 2012, we say, are these not the very ones who deny the inspiration and inerrancy of Scripture? Are they not those who doubt, if not outright deny, that God actually created the world? Are they not those who almost universally dismiss the Bible's end-of-the-world prophecies as if they were nothing more than mere superstition and legend? The point is this. Should Bible-believing Christians give more credence to secular scientists than the Word of God? For it speaks of numerous events that will precede the end of the world most of which have already occurred, are now occurring, or are imminent. Unprecedented growth in travel and knowledge, the escalation of cataclysmic events, global economic collapse, the preaching of the gospel throughout the world, nations bent on surrounding and annihilating Israel, increasing persecution of Christians, and possible nuclear holocaust. One prophecy yet to be fulfilled is the revealing of a world leader who will bring order out of a world that is collapsing culturally, financially, and environmentally. It is these prophecies that convince biblical Christians that it is reasonable to conclude that the world could end in 2012 or certainly in the near future. For while we cannot know the exact day or hour, the end of the world will not come as a complete surprise to informed believers. You are not in darkness, brothers, for that day to surprise you like a thief, wrote the Apostle Paul. For you are all children of light, children of the day. The first lesson from the Mayan calendar then is not that the world will end on a particular day, but that it will end. And we have ample reason to believe 
it may be soon. The second lesson is this. Christians need to wake up, be alert, and strive to know and faithfully follow God's Word. We need to deal with, not dismiss our sins, repenting and confessing when we fail. In short, we need to make sure we are ready for our Lord may return soon. Understand this, Jesus said. If the owner of the house had known at what time of the night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Question. Are you ready?